to think about how we form teams and who we put on our teams to move forward to Waterwise Cities. We have a tendency to um, create teams that are made up of people we know or that we've worked with in the past that we feel comfortable with. But in reality, what we really need is a broad spectrum of people to add creativity into the process, to add new dimensions into the process. So bringing in artists, bringing in health professionals, bringing in media people, and working across organizations, government organizations, but also thinking about the different types of disciplines that we're bringing to the process. So not just engineers and scientists, but making sure we're bringing in the economists and the social scientists, the geographers, all of the people that make up the knowledge that becomes the fabric of a waterwise city. To make that happen, you have to have people that are good facilitators. They can bring the people to the table. And that's not a skill that's easily found, but it's fundamental to getting a process where people can trust each other and feel safe in sharing and not defensive about their positions, but in sharing in the learning. And it's not a process that is a quick process. There's a realization that it takes time. So it's going to be different for every project, depending on what you're doing, but it's a long-term relationship you're forming with others to move forward. You know, we really need to have respect for different people and Engineers have one way of learning and it's really about quantitative data and the numbers and the information where social scientists might come more from a um, qualitative perspective in how they think of the world, how they form a problem. But those two areas both need to have equal time, equal respect at, at the process. And I think the closing thing is that once you enter into this and start working with all of these people, it's a really fun process. It's a learning process. It's something that you really enjoy.